we are going to rank the current NBA players' kids who haven't yet played in college. Putting this video together was tough because many factors, but mostly it's hard because their ages vary so much. I am open for debate and I want to see what y'all think in the comments. Without further ado, let's get started. To get this video going, we got Chris Paul Jr. He is a 2028 guard out of California. I first saw him six years ago. This was the summer of 2016 and he played 1v1 versus his pops. The following year, in that same gym, he played Trey Young one on one. Nowadays he's playing for Team Why Not. And all of the NBA kids have tons of potential, but I had to put someone first. At the 27th spot, we have PJ Rose, son of NBA MVP Derrick Rose. PJ is a 4th grader who we have only seen once. He is a prime example of how younger players are really tough to rank. Top 25 scouts has him ranked number 16 in the country. And PJ really impressed us at Balling on the Beach and we look forward to seeing more of him. NBA champion Richard Hamilton has a son named Parker and he can play. Rip Hamilton also has two other sons but we haven't gotten any footage on them. I believe his oldest plays with Bryce James at Campbell Hall, but don't quote me on that. Parker is a sixth grade guard out of Florida, and he played well at the CP3 Middle School Combine. Jackson Richardson is the son of two-time NBA dunk contest winner, Jason Richardson. He comes in at 25 on this list. At 6'5", he's a high-level wing prospect who has a frame and a game that reminds me of his dad. He just finished his freshman year in high school and I could see him shooting up the rankings in his upperclassmen years. JJ Crawford comes in at 24. He's the son of three times six man of the year award winner, Jamal Crawford. JJ can shoot the leather off the ball and he just finished sixth grade. Top 25 scouts has him ranked 15th in the country in the 2029 class. Azella Arenas is the daughter of Gilbert Agent Zero Arenas. Azella has continued to get so much better and she has handles like her pops. Honestly, she could be ranked higher based off of her recent performances. I think ESPN is sleeping on her in the rankings as they have her unranked. Be on the lookout for her in the 2024 class. I kind of cheat here and put two people in the same spot. However, they are twins. NBA champion Matt Barnes has twins that just finished the eighth grade. Isaiah and Carter Barnes have a ton of potential and their games complement each other well. I'm looking forward to watching their games develop. Now y'all might be too young to remember Rafer skipped to my Lou Austin. I barely remember when it was going on, but I love hoops so I've seen his and one tapes. Rafer had an 11 year NBA career and his son Reese Austin has some of that same swag to his game. They call him Little Skip and he just finished the eighth grade. Pierre Rondo just finished the fifth grade and he may look the most like his dad out of everyone on this list. Pierre is the son of two time NBA champion Rajon Rondo, future Hall of Famer in my book, but Pierre has been going off at various events. His game resembles Rondo's. He's got long arms and plays great defense. What's most impressive is how good he is at finishing with both hands at such a young age. This is the same little boy who celebrated the chip with Rondo in the bubble. Jermaine O'Neal Jr. is the son of six-time NBA All-Star Jermaine O'Neal. Jermaine is currently ranked 66 in the 2025 class, and unlike his pops, Jermaine Jr. does most of the damage on the perimeter. His dad runs Drive Nation EYBL, and that's who Jr. is suited up with. He already holds offers from Missouri, Tennessee, Vanderbilt, and SMU. Jace Richardson is the oldest son of Jason Richardson. He's a 6'3 point guard out of Las Vegas. ESPN has him ranked 36 in the 2024 class and he holds offers like Arizona State, Washington, and more. 
We seen him last month at the Pangos All-American camp and he put on a show. Bryce Maximus James comes in at the 17th spot. I know this may shock some of our viewers, but Bryce has some serious competition on this list. He's the son of LeBron James. Bryce is going into his junior year at Campbell Hall, and he's shown some serious shades of a high major prospect. His potential is through the roof, and he has NBA scouts at his game based off his DNA. If he can do what Bronny did, get exponentially better every year, I'm going to wish I had him higher on this list. Cameron Carr is an absolute winner. He is the son of NBA veteran Chris Carr. Cameron played for Link Academy this past season and they went 34-2 and won the Geico Nationals. On top of that, he won the EYBL Peace Jam with Mo Can Elite in 2022. 24-7 Sports has him ranked 51 in their final 2023 rankings. Cam is committed to Tennessee, and at 6'5", I could see him having a successful NBA career. Miera O'Neal is the second girl on this list. She is the daughter of the most dominant NBA player of all time, Shaquille O'Neal. And if you don't believe me, argue with your daddy. Miera is ranked 35th by ESPN in the 2024 class. I will have some new footage on her after this weekend. But earlier in the circuit, she was trying to throw down. Kyan Anthony is slotted in at the 14th spot. He's the son of future Hall of Famer Carmelo Anthony. Kyan is a 6'4 guard who can get a bucket anywhere on the court. He averages almost 16 points per game in EYBL, and he just finished his sophomore year of high school. He could have probably been ranked higher, but like I've said, it's some tough competition up there. We have more twins, but I have given them each their own slot. Kalik and Kaden are the son of NBA champion Eddie House. These rankings are interchangeable because they both bring so much to their team. For numbers purposes, I will start with Kalik House. Kalik is a 6'3 shooting guard who can score at all three levels. His brother, Kaden House, averaged 26 points per game his freshman year in high school at Desert Mountain. Caden has elite athleticism and can get to his spot. Both the house twins will be making noise for years to come. Reed Shepard is the son of Jeff Shepard, who was a two-time national championship winner at Kentucky. He played briefly for the Atlanta Hawks. Reed is committed to his dad's alma mater. He is one of the highest IQ players in the 2023 class. ESPN has him ranked 23. In his senior year, he averaged 25.5 points, 7.6 assists, 6.8 rebounds, and 4.4 steals per game. And that got him selected as a McDonald's All-American. Andrej is the son of one of the greatest shooters in NBA history, Peja Stojakovic. He's a 6'6 shooter out of California. I think he will surprise a lot of people at Stanford this year. He may be the best shooter to come out of the 2023 class. And ESPN has him ranked 22 in their final rankings. And like Reed, he was a McDonald's All-American as well. Next, we have Caden Boozer. Boozer's dad is Cameron Boozer, who had a solid 13 year NBA career. His son is a six foot three point guard and 24 seven has him ranked 13th in the nation. I saw him a couple weeks ago and he definitely has that it factor. He holds offers from everywhere, including Duke, North Carolina, Kentucky, and more. Elijah Arenas is another one of Gilbert Arenas children. He's a six four guard who just finished his freshman year in high school. ESPN has him ranked number five in the 2026 class. And as a freshman, he averaged 30 points and nine rebounds at Chatsworth in California. In these clips, he was playing up two age groups with Compton Magic. Bronny James comes in at the seventh spot. His dad is Lugo James. Bronny has been under the spotlight since he was born. 
I wanted to rank him higher because he had all of the pressure of holding the name LeBron James Jr. and has really stepped up in every opportunity. His game has developed so quickly and I truly believe he is going to be a great NBA player. McKinley Randolph is the daughter of NBA enforcer Zach Zebo Randolph. McKinley is currently ranked number 18 in the 2024 class, but there is a high chance she moves up. She was one of the leaders of the 2022 U17 World Cup gold medalist team. At 6'1", she moves really well, and she uses her physicality to impose her will on opponents. At number five, I have Elijah Williams. His dad, Monty Williams, had a nine-year NBA career, and he is the new coach for the Detroit Pistons. At six foot six, Elijah possesses all the skills to be great at the next level. ESPN has him ranked number four in the 2026 class. He averaged 19.8 points and 9.1 rebounds his freshman year in Scottsdale, Arizona. With the coaching switch, Elijah will be attending Brother Rice in Michigan next year. Eric Dampier Jr. is the son of former NBA veteran Eric Dampier. Almost every scouting service has him ranked number one in the country. It is a pretty sure bet because he's already six foot eight and he just finished seventh grade. You can tell the way he moves that it's likely he continues to grow. His dad was six foot eleven. And if he gets that kind of height, he is sure to keep that ranking up high. At number three, I had to go with DJ Wagner. He is the son of New Jersey legend, Dejon Wagner. DJ was ranked number one for most of his high school career before falling to number four in the ESPN's final rankings. And he could have easily finished number one in the country, but there is plenty to debate because Isaiah Collier is super tough. DJ is committed to Kentucky, and I know the McDonald's game MVP is going to play with a chip on his shoulder after people started doubting him. Now these last two are interchangeable. Both of these guys are ranked number one in their respective classes. At two, we have ESPN number one in the 2024 class, Dylan Harper. Dylan is the son of Ron Harper, 15 year NBA veteran, and his pops won five championships, three with Michael Jordan and two with the late great Kobe Bean Bryant. That greatness is in Dylan's DNA. He's a 6'5 point guard who said he models his game after SGA and Cade Cunningham. You can tell he's the son of an NBA player. He has all the intangibles. Last but not least, Cameron Boozer has been labeled as a generational talent and he gets that praise for a reason. He is the other twin of former NBA player Cameron Boozer. Cameron is just 15 years old, and he already has the size and look of an NBA player. He's 6'9", and he can do everything on the court. He won the National Boys Basketball Player of the Year as a sophomore. We just saw him at the Top 100 camp just two days after seeing him at Section 7 in Arizona. This kid is going to be special. And that concludes the rankings video. But I have to mention, there are some guys I left out due to not having any footage. Taj Ariza is the son of Trevor Ariza and ESPN has him ranked number 12 in the 2026 class. Ray Allen III is the son of 10-time NBA All-Star Ray Allen. Christian Ori, son of seven-time NBA champion Robert Ori. Layman McGrady, son of Hall of Famer T-Mac. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.